Hey guys, I'm back with another exciting after tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can create this particle glitch logo animation. So let's get started. Okay guys, I'm gonna start with the new composition and let's go with this logo placeholder. I'm gonna go with full HD resolution. If you guys want higher resolution, you can go 2K or 4K and I will go with a 24 frame per second and 10 second as the duration. Let's go with a background color as a black and hit ok now you guys can just place your logo right here or just type your text here i'm gonna type particle glitch or if you have a logo uh, you can just drag and drop that logo here and i'm gonna just scale this down so i'm gonna select this text and press s to scale it down like that let's also center the anchor point align it to the middle of the composition so i'm gonna use align tool just like that okay make sure your text or logo uh, white if not you can just apply a fill color with a uh, white and that's it now we have a logo placeholder now we can create a new composition this is where uh, we are going to add up a particle glitch effect so i'm gonna call this particle glitch and i will go with same setting like before and hit okay now let's track this composition right here okay now i'm gonna just drag and drop our logo placeholder into this composition and we don't need to see this for now so i'm gonna just disable it and let's also add a new solid and then let's go with this map because this will be our particle map and i'm gonna hit okay now go to effect and preset you can go windows and find effect and preset right here and search for fractal noise and I'm gonna just double click the fractal noise. Now I'm gonna set the noise type to block. So this way we can get that glitchy effect. And for the contrast, let's go with 500 and brightness to minus 150. I already play with this setting, that's why I uh, know these settings. Uh, okay, now we can just uh, scale the transform a little bit down. So I'm gonna open the transform properties and set the scale to maybe five. As you can see now we have this kind of dots and we can just animate by using this offset turbulence. So I'm gonna go to zero second and create a keyframe for the offset turbulence. Now I'm gonna go to five second and hit N on your keyboard to in the composition right here. Now I will drag this slider to the right corner of this composition right there. Now if you press the space bar, as you can see, now we have this slider animation that's basically it for this map so i'm gonna just hide it and then enable the our logo placeholder map let's also just drag this map layer to the below of the composition and now i'm gonna add a new adjustment layer so right click new and adjustment layer make sure it's in the top of the stack now let's go with this particle glitch and for this one i'm gonna apply a displacer pro effect displacer pro is a uh, Free plugin from plugin everything. This is a free plugin. This is a better displacement effect than the default after bit one. Okay, so make sure you download this. You can go here and download it for free and then install it to the after bit. And after that, you can just go to effect and preset and search for displacer pro effect. Just type displacer pro and it will pop up. And I'm gonna just select this adjustment layer and then double click the displacer pro and it will apply and i'm gonna go to effect control you guys can just find the effect control right here if it doesn't appear here and i'm gonna set the map layer to map and place the source as the effect and mask okay and i'm also uh, set the channel to luminous if not make sure you select the luminous and now we can just play with these transform properties this is why this effect is better than the default after it displacement effect and because we have this transform effect as you can see now we can just play with these uh, keyframes so i'm gonna go to zero second and let's start with the scale so i'm gonna create a new uh, keyframe for the scale select this adjustment layer and press u on your keyboard to reveal all the keyframes I'm gonna convert this into a whole keyframe so press ctrl alt and then click on this keyframe this will uh, turn this keyframe into a whole keyframe now we can just actually play with the uh, different scale so I'm gonna just give some placing like that there are no rules for when you create in glitch so you have to go there and just experiment okay I will just go with different placing like that now if you check the animation 
as you can see so we have this uh, simple particle animation now we can just add some rotation to this uh, animation so i'm gonna go to 12 frame forward and just bring a rotation so i'm gonna create a keyframe for the rotation and select this particle glitch and press u to bring the keyframes let's also connect this into a whole keyframe so i'm gonna hold ctrl alt and then click and let's also give some different rotations like that don't worry if it's not seen just give some different rotation because we also add some translate x and y to the animation okay okay looks cool now let's go a little bit forward and now bring the translate x and also translate y and i'm gonna select this and press u to reveal i will also convert this into a whole keyframes and let's go there and increase the translate x like that let's go forward again i'm gonna uh, set the scale to zero again okay in this position let's also set the rotation to zero so it will uh, fill the particles a little bit okay looks good i will also bring now translate y so i'm gonna just increase the translate y like that now we can see that a particle name or your logo I will increase the translate Y and yeah, this is how you create a glitch effect. You have to uh, experiment with these uh, positions, okay, and rotations. As you can see, you can get really cool effect by just going through different effects. Don't worry, uh, if you don't have to follow me, just go there and just add some random positions. That's how you create a glitch effect and uh, yeah looks pretty good i will also add some scale position right here so i'm gonna create another keyframes let's go forward that kind of cool so i will add it let's set this back to zero and you can also add some random rotation again hit let's also reset this value to zero and i will set the scale back to 100 so we can see our original logo i will give some randomness to these keyframes like that now if you press the spacebar now you have a kind of random particle pictures as you can see now it's the best part now we can add some colors using this chromatic aberration so i'm gonna open this up we can just increase the red layer as you can see when we add spread green and blue we can get that nice looking differentiate colors like that i will also show you how to change these colors okay later of this tutorial and yeah looks pretty good i will keep this green color for now and now i'm gonna add a tint effect so i'm gonna add a new adjustment layer and let's call this tint and search for tint effect in the effect and preset menu because i love that uh, black and white effect so i'm gonna uh, shorten this layer up like that just bring this slider to here so we have shortened layer as you can see now i'm gonna select this ctrl d to duplicate and place it randomly in the composition to get that random uh, tint effect if you press space bar by the way if you guys don't see these particles like this that's because your uh, resolution is not full if you go half that as you can see it's not uh, actually watchable so i make sure you are using full resolution if not uh, this will looks funny okay and yeah right now we have a really nice looking particle glitch effect and i really like and now we can add a real particle effect using default uh, displacement effect in the after effect so i'm gonna add a new adjustment layer let's call this displace i'm gonna add a displacement map effect let's double click this is the default uh, effect of the activate and i'm gonna set the displacement map to map like that and set the source to effect and mass i'm gonna uh, set the use for horizontal displace to luminous set the both of these properties to luminous okay and i'm gonna set the values this one to minus 10 and vertical displacement to 10 make sure you type 10 okay not 100 and yeah now we can just select this and press ctrl d to duplicate and then type minus 20 in the below vertical displacement i'm gonna type 20 
let's keep doing this two more times so i'm gonna control d to duplicate and set the horizontal displacement to minus 30 and vertical displacement to 30 one more time con press control d and set this to minus 40 vertical displacement to 40 just like that now we have this particle animation now we can just shorten this layout just like before and if you guys want to only particle you can use this method create a particle as you can see it's really good and i'm gonna just place it somewhere around here let's see a good placement yeah let's sit somewhere around here so we can see it i'm gonna go to particle glitch effect so i'm gonna press u to uh, reveal the keyframes here i think right here let's bring these keyframes here a little bit and then bring scale to 100 okay and let's go few frame forward and i'm gonna set the translate to zero and here now we can just bring that our displacement effect here because i think i like this in the middle rather than in the end okay so that way we can just see that particle like that yeah i think that looks cool yeah all right that's perfect now you guys can add so much layer like that because this is a tutorial i'm just want to show you the method okay now i think i'm satisfied with this one you can also change the colors uh, by using a hue and saturation so i'm gonna add a new adjustment layer let's call this hue and go to effect and preset and search for hue and saturation just double click now you can just play with this master hue to get a different colors for the particles now if you think this particle is not enough light enough we can just increase the level of these particles so if you uh, go to a particle each adjustment layer and then apply levels double click these levels and we can increase the level values this way we can get a little bit contrast particles like that disable and enable as you can see and yeah i like that and let's keep it that way now we can add a new composition so i'm gonna add a new composition and let's call this final and i'm gonna go with same setting hit ok let's drag it here and drag and drop our particle glitch composition right here i'm gonna go to five seconds remember we create a five, five second composition here so i'm gonna go here five seconds and then press n in the composition here i think we can also add some animation to the text okay let's add some animation to the text so i'm gonna go to particle glitch again and let's select this layer placeholder and then press s to bring the scale properties i'm gonna create a new keyframe let's bring it down like that i will give some 20 scale in the press keyframe let's convert this into a whole keyframe press ctrl alt and then click now i'm gonna go to few frame forward and set this to 40 let's go again few frame forward set this to 70 like that let's go back few frame forward and then set this to 100 i'm gonna just check the animation here that's real cool for the end i think let's give some little animation as you can see you have to go and uh, give some adjustment and this is how you create a glitch animations there are no uh, really rules you have to go there and just play with this animation sliders like that i just give some translate x to this text doing the glitch right here it's really cool yeah the good thing about this is you can go to global placeholder just drag and drop whatever you like i didn't uh, experiment with the images so you guys can just add an image if you want and yeah you can just add your logo here and now let's go back to final composition right here and now add some uh, lens distortion so i'm gonna add a new adjustment layer and let's go with this lens distort i'm gonna go to effect and preset and search for optic compensation i'm gonna just double click and we can set this to reverse lens distort and then increase the field of view something like that this will give us nice di distorted lens effect as you can see now let's also add a new background so now i'm gonna add a new solid layer and then i'm gonna rename this as pg and go with a black color and hit ok i'm gonna just drag and drop and go to effect and preset and search for noise hls make sure you uh, select this auto one because this will give random uh, auto noise 
and I'm gonna go with the squared uh, noise and then increase the lightness we don't need too much I'm going with maybe 25 is good and let's check the animation and that's basically it and as you can see it's not that uh, hard to create a glitch effect and also I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for watching and make sure you like and subscribe to this channel that way you can receive a notification whenever I release a new video and as always thank you so much for the patreon supporters that you guys I can't create these uh, awesome tutorials and yeah I will see you guys in the next one peace